Hey everybody, welcome back to another excited limited edition Games Wednesday video where I open up a limited run, small print run of a physical release of a video game, typically for the Nintendo Switch, sometimes other platforms. And today we're here with one I've been very excited for for a long time. And obviously I, I got a lot of these. I went crazy ordering a bunch of limited games and uh, I have piled up like 16, so we're way behind. This one got shipped out like November 27th <laughs> of 2019. And it's like, uh, you know, mid-February right now, 2020. But anyways, we're here to check out Gris, 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 G-R-I-S, um, from Strictly, no, from, hmm, hmm, Super, no, uh, Special special Reserve Games, sorry, there's so many SRGs, um, but yeah, and then also we have the LP, the vinyl LP exclusive from I Am 8-Bit as well, so we're gonna check all this out, we're gonna do a little bit of a let's play and see what we think about this game. And I know it is a game I've been very excited to get to. Now we do have the collector's edition. I do have a link to this company in the description below if you'd like to check them out. Looks like they're putting out about one every month, roughly. And uh, you do, if you get their collector's editions, you do get them like numbered too. So that ought to be kind of interesting. And uh, I, went, I did not go with the deluxe edition. I didn't want a custom art print because it got like way more expensive. But we did get the game with the custom art, well, with the art book. So there's gonna be plenty to look at here and I'm just excited to try out this game, hopefully a little later tonight. So we're gonna flip this open and we're gonna hope that I didn't just show anything that I don't want you to see. And nope, looks like we're good. So good, I don't have to worry about that in terms of a dress or whatever. And I did not know this box, this specialty box was gonna be so huge and so interesting and that's because this is just a plain old black box. So that's not really Okay, is this just further package protection? I guess so, which is good because the corners are kind of dented up. Or am I actually supposed to save it like this? I don't know. Interesting. But we're gonna try and get in here in just a second and find out. Let's try to get this plastic off. And this is kind of that nicer, ooh, sorry, I did not mean to bump the camera there. That kind of nicer textured cardboard. And if you've ever touched this, you'd know what I mean. And we flip up the lid. And oh yeah, no, this is the actual collector's box, which then sucks because one of my corners is definitely dented in a bit. Interesting that it comes with white gloves. Am I supposed to give this the white glove treatment? <laughs> is that what their intention is? I've never seen that before. That's kind of crazy. Well, I guess we'll do it. We'll take their advice. Um, so you do get this really gorgeous, just very kind of just classic. That doesn't want to fit right. Um, nice silver in the cardboard here. So it is a real bummer then that this thing's got banged around considering that's supposed to be part of my collector's box. Or maybe it isn't, maybe I'm just wrong. So I don't know why we just decided to put those on for fun. That just folds out, that doesn't come out. And then we have the substantial size art book. There's no way I'm gonna show you this entire art book, but we will look at some of that near the end of the video. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. And we have the sheet music from the opening piano theme. I could figure this out if I really wanted to. I can read music. I don't think that I'm like the best in the world at it. I'm kind of slow at it, but um, pretty neat that that comes with it. I think that's a nice little touch. Of course, we actually have the game, which we will take a closer look at here in just a moment. We have the collector's box, which is not really assembled. And I guess these aren't numbered. Am I incorrect on that? Or is the game numbered? The game is numbered. We'll look at that in a minute if you didn't catch it. And then it looks like we have some art cards. So we'll check that out. And that's all we got in there. But let's start looking through this. And uh, I'm gonna take these off, I don't really care. I mean, I bought this to use it, but I mean, that's kind of a neat thing that if you are doing a collector's, collector's edition here, that they kind of give you that. That's something definitely <laughs> I've never seen and I find it fascinating. So I'm just gonna start, slide those right back in there and get this out of our way so we can start taking a look at some other things. This uh, collector's box is very nice but it's also kind of odd because how does that, does that actually, is it like a slip cap cover for the game? Cause that's awfully thick for just being the game. Yeah, like that doesn't, okay. That doesn't really make any sense unless I'm supposed to also have these in there, but then still I don't have the side piece. Was I missing something in there? I'm checking, hold on. I guess you could shove the, uh, the, the uh, gloves down in it. No, there doesn't seem to be anything else I'm missing. If I'm missing something, you can tell me in the in the uh, comments. But yeah, I guess I'll just keep this in the box because I'm not sure how that, although that is a really gorgeous cover. So that's actually kind of nice. We'll set that to the side for now. Um, I guess we're gonna open up these art cards because that's what we do here. We actually unbox the things and look at them because I don't collect for value. I just collect for me having them. And I guess, um, 
not prestige, because I don't really care, but <laughs> I like this idea of having a very awesome Switch collection. I've never really done like a big old video game collection for any platform, but I have a massive Switch collection. So I like that I have a lot of cool stuff for it. So we will take a quick look at these art cards. I do think this game is gonna be absolutely gorgeous and I'm very excited to give it a play and see what we think. So it's not gonna be action heavy. It's definitely supposed to be kind of a relaxing story game was what I seem to recall. But again, it's been so long since I looked into this game that I don't remember 100%. But I do know the colors look fantastic and everything else looks fantastic. You've already got a good look at that. Show you the video game with the plastic on real quick and then we'll take the plastic off so you can get a better look at it. And there does seem to be a manual inside. It's definitely a little bit heavier than just your Switch, or your typical Switch game. So get that plastic off. Yeah, I, like I said, I've been very excited to check this one out, so. All right, now you can see it a little bit better with their exclusive cover. That is a gorgeous cover though. The art in this is rather beautiful. Single player game. And I got a pretty low number. I got 1453 out of 8100, so I will take that. That's pretty good for me. Not for resale. <laughs> and it does not look like it's much of a reversible inside, although I guess you could. Yeah, absolutely you could, but then you're not really gonna get a lot on the back, but still, it would look like the outside box. Have the nice cartridge there. So that's very cool. Now, since we have albums and we have an art book to look through, we'll go ahead and take a quick look through the instruction booklet. I will try to hold long enough for you to pause on these pages if you would like to read them. This does have the more premium cardboard cover. That's something they often offer, offer over there with their collector's editions. Personally, I don't think that makes a tremendous difference, but maybe it does to you. So yeah, some basic controls, just sing, jump, and heavy. Interesting. I don't even know if you use the joystick. They didn't actually point out the joystick. So we got some concept art in here. This might have some stuff that's actually in the art book. Oops, I missed a page. Tell you who it, yeah, you saw it. You saw it. You can pause, maybe. I don't know, that might've been too fast. Um, but yeah, again, I just keep saying it's beautiful, but I really like this, um, what's the word I'm looking for when it's not a lot going on? Very minimalist, that's what I'm looking for. This minimalist style with these kind of pastels and gradient colors. The night stuff looks like it's gonna be even more gorgeous to me. Flowers, cool. And a message from the developers. And you get the nice silvery background there, so. So very nice. Well, um, we are gonna do some more after the gameplay, but I tell you what, why don't we get to it? Uh, let's play the game. Okay, so first things first, let's see if this is complete on cart. I have a feeling it is, let's see. Pretty, yeah, sweet. I'm pretty sure that's, they're, they were, why they took so long to get this out. So uh, I filmed the unboxing earlier today. It's definitely later at night. Uh, I've been out to dinner, had an amazing dinner, and a few cocktails. You know, not, not three sheets to the wind quite yet, but I had a really good time. Uh, I had this appetizer, man, that was like deep fried plantains with uh, toasted hazelnuts, blue cheese crumbles, and an orange chili glaze, and oh, so good. And then I had this Peruvian seafood rice dish. It's like the Peruvian version of Chinese fried rice, but instead of like roast pork, they had like andouille sausage in there, and then it had some scallops and, and uh, shrimp, and oh, so good. And then I shouldn't have had dessert. Um... But I had this idea, and of course they know me so well over there, and they're so cool, and so... I went to Azur, my favorite place. Uh, so affable to their customers. Um, I was joking about, man, I wouldn't mind some of them plantains with uh, like some uh, vanilla ice cream, some chocolate sauce or whatever. So they ended up hooking me up with a dessert that was the fried plantains with vanilla ice cream, caramel, and uh, like toasted walnuts, and oh god. It was just too much. Oh, we're already playing. Alright, new game. Sorry. I'm... I'm <laughs> I had a margarita, because I was craving one. I've been wanting one for a while. It's kind of my new drink that I'm digging. And a um, nice glass of wine. Oh, I'm already in love with the music. And then a mocha cocktail at the end. That music is, oh. Oh, wow. The art style, wow. Hold on, I'm like. I feel like I just got, oh, that harmony. I gotta turn this up. I'm getting Swiss Army Man vibes here. Oh, I'm, I'm already in love with it. Oh, she lost her voice, no. Oh, wow. 
Oh god, I hope this game feels good to play because I'm already in love with it. And I don't want to be wrong. I, I, need, I should make it even louder. To be honest, it's quite the volume disparity. Let's move it up some more. That may be too much. Because it is music. I don't want to get claimed, but damn, y'all. Oh, that's cool. I am so glad I got the vinyl. If I recall back to when this came out and I was ordering, I actually debated. Because this was around the time I think I started to be like, you know, I think I'm probably ordering too many of these things. <laughs> and I can stand to save a few bucks here or there. But I'm glad I didn't back down. I'm glad I got this. Wow. I honestly kind of wish this wasn't even a game. I wish I was about like starting up some kind of really cool, innovative, uh, animated feature that was like nominated for an Oscar, you know? <laughs> Give me a 90 minute, two hour movie of this. Tell me the story. But I guess we're gonna do like an eight hour gameplay thing instead. <laughs> I think this is supposed to be kind of short game. I could be wrong. I really hate to have to talk over this. I mean, I have to, again, to make this transformative and such, but. Plus, I mean, you're here for my commentary. I'm sure you can go find somebody playing it or just get the damn game off the eShop and play it yourself. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get this. Mary's gonna, oh yeah, Mary needs a copy of this. All right. I think I triggered that. Yeah, okay, so I am in control. Oh wow, I can just sit back down. I can get up. I can sit back down. I can get up. <laughs> See what else I can do before I start moving. Nothing, nothing. I can either give up, I can go both ways. All right, let's just, let's do this. Oh yeah, I think as we move along, like we'll start coloring in the world and, you know, as we like trigger events and stuff. Like it's, uh, right now she's very sad. It'll become more details. You can even see a little more detail starting to come out behind her. Oh, the fog. Something's happening. Those are things. Oh, I didn't mean to sit down. I was trying to jump. Little birdies, sort of. Not birdie birdies. That one's gonna get me in the head. Nope. Missed me by that much. Oh, she just gave up. I didn't do that. She's so tired and sad and depressed. I've had those days. I still do. You know I'm a super positive guy, and I am 99% of the time. But when I do have that one bad day every few months, I mean, it's, I crash pretty hard. Oh, I can like run now. I can walk and run. I can, I got speeds. Oh, I can do something. I don't know what that did. Oh, and I can jump now. All right. She's got a little energy. She's coming out of the funk. I don't know if I needed to jump that, but I wanted to. Love that blue hair. I love colorful hair though. Just always have. There was a time my hair was almost that color, but it was also patchy green because I did a really bad job of coloring it. <laughs> but it was very punk rock, so I liked it. All right. Oh, wow. I'm so tiny. Can I, can I grab a thing? Oh, no. Oh, I guess I was supposed to do that. Yeah, this music is super haunting. Do I do anything? Hello, little guy. How do I get back down? I don't. Oh, I think I'm trying to sing with that button, but I still don't have my voice. Nope, I can't get back down. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with those things, but I guess not. I'll just keep moving on, see what happens. Can I double jump? Nope, no double jump. There was a little bit of vibration on that landing. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're getting a little more detail in our work here. A little more, Wee. Yeah, this is supposed to be a pretty simplistic and chill game, but like, fantastically involving. 
And then I can see that with the designs and the music. Okay, something to do here, maybe. Oh. Okay. Like one of those uh, passwords on some phones. Honestly, this might be too chill for me right now after <laughs> those drinks. Like, I just kind of want to lay back and listen to these tunes. Oh, neat. The little uh, thing is, like, following me. Oh, can I? Oh, should I be backtracking? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to backtrack and discover some stuff. I don't think I missed anything where I needed to do that, but... I can think of a spot or two where it would have helped. Okay, what do those things do? Nothing? Nope. Nope, can't do anything. But there's a thing over there. I want to do the thing. Maybe I'm supposed to go further out and get something and then I can come back? Okay. Oh, I can go up here. Ah! Oh, and that gives me a thing. So now I've got two trailing thingies. Well, there's a thing hiding out here, but I don't want to fall off the cliff. Oh. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, bon dun dun. Okay, but how do I... I want to go up here first. I'm probably not supposed to. I was probably supposed to go... Yeah, l let's not. Let's, uh, let's go the way the game seems to be leading me. I mean, I, I get it, but how do I... Do I jump on the notes? Nope. That was a mistake. I might have just royally screwed up. No, we're back down to where we started. Okay, we can get up there. But I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do once I get up there. I mean, it sounds like I'm supposed to do a musical pattern, like it's kind of a Simon. But I don't really seem to have any option to do anything. There's no, like, double jumping. There's no... Yeah, that's just doing it on its own. Oh, I need one more, I think. Okay. So I somehow need to make my way up there, it looks like, probably. Which is easier said than done. So I guess we just continue on. Okay. Those ledges look like they would break if I don't get off them quickly. Oh, oh nice. It's almost like what, Escher? Is that who I'm thinking? Just kind of like hidden stairways and stuff. What is going on? Nope, can't get on that. We'll just keep jumping. Yep, I gotta make this long jump, it looks like. Except I don't have four dots. Oh, cool. I guess I had the important two dots. And now I got three dots so I can do this other jump. Oh, neat. Yeah, see it, okay. And then it connected, okay. So now I have some idea of what I'm actually doing here. Nice. Welcome to the Baselands. Oh. That hand needs some lotion. Look at that cracked skin. <laughs> Uh-oh. That one's going to pick me up, isn't it? Something. Oh, my dots are scattering. Yep, I'm floating! I fly now? I fly now. Oh, yeah. I remember watching some stuff about this game and being like, I want to play that, but I'm going to wait for the physical. Oh, that's pretty. So now we have some color in the universe. That's great. With the red flying squids. Red, a color has been brought back. I got to bring all the color back to my world. But right now I'm angry. Angry. Because it's all red. 
color of anger and passion. Well, the Valentine's just around the corner, so I guess it's the color of love. Love. It's funny to me, traditionally, in traditional gender stereotype reg relationships, most guys would love to date a girl like Mary because they hate Valentine's and she hates Valentine's, but it's ironic to me, I love Valentine's and she hates Valentine's, so she has to be the stereotypical dude in those situations with me, like, ugh, fine, we'll do something. I'm like, oh, I just wanna go out. <laughs> it's cute, we're cute. She's nice, she's very nice to me. She can be very evil, but she's nice. See, it's not evil with a V, it's E with a B. It's evil with a B because it's cuter. Because it's cute evil. Therefore, it's evil. I'm being evil. Yeah, this Lord of the Rings. Themes. Themes. All right, let me go. Let me go. I need to go. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I gotta go right now. I probably should have explored down there. But we'll just keep going upwards first. And jump. Nope, I guess I did need to go down there. And I can't do anything else still? Okay. It's not like breaking jars Zelda style or anything. Doesn't seem to be. Hello, birdies. Nope, oh, can't get in that door yet. So I guess we go down and find something we need to do that. My guess. Unless that's the way I came up. No! Maybe I was supposed to do that. I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. This music is freaking awesome. Might have to bust out my launch station lately. I got me one of those uh, new uh, MK3s, I think. The Novation. Little uh, music controllers. So I can do some more creativity, creating on the go. Whee! Yeah, this is a very chill game in terms of you don't do a lot, but it's doing a lot for you. That's cool. Good thing my uh, cape slows me down, my dress slows me down. Why is the moon following me? Get off my lawn, moon! It's my lawn! Will be mine. Oh yes, it will. Moves faster when she jumps. Oh, it's auto doing that. I did not touch any of those buttons to get up there. Once we got to the top of things. And we have a title screen. Cool. Well, I think that's good enough. We can go back to the, no, actually I do want to play some more. So I'm going to play some more. <laughs> <coughs> All right, I'm back in control. All right, jump. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Well, at least she's got a nice breeze going on up there. All right, let's get moving. Let's see what we can do here. I'd like to see another color get put back in. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh no, I'm gonna get sad again. The music's getting sad. I'm gonna get sad. I'm excited about checking out more of the art book. You haven't seen it yet, but that art book is very cool. So hopefully you're sticking around to see that. Oh no, the wind has picked up. Ooh, ooh. Got some like Argento style stuff going on there. I felt very goblin-esque. Kind of prog rock. Which is very different than poor rock, by the way. <laughs> oh, there's a thing. Oh, no! 
Oh, I probably needed to get up into that building before that happened, is probably what the deal was. Because I'm sure that thing is cover. All right, we'll keep moving. Watch those wind tower turbines, boys. Get some scarfs. Uh-oh, wind's kicking in, wind's kicking in. No, oh, come on, you got this. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna hold tight. Oh, I'm gonna break a nail. <laughs> okay, keep moving. Yeah, this is not a game, if you're looking for a challenge, this is not the game for you, but if you're looking for something just different and interesting, this is pretty great. Uh-oh, here comes the wind. But I, don't, I guess it just doesn't affect you if you're in the building. Okay, good. And go, go, go. Wee! Ranjaku, wee! Oh no. Okay, good, uh-oh. Oh good, I can get back up there. Cause I was like, I was supposed to go up there. I missed the jump. I'm about to miss it again. Oh, shnikes. All right, at least we know what we're doing. Okay. Moving right along, footloose and fancy free. Eventually we'll get where we need to be. I don't think that's how the lyrics go, but I made them that way because I'm cool like that. Uh-oh, wind's picking up, wind's picking up. Okay, good. Didn't want it dropping me down that crevasse. Ha ha, stupid wind, you got nothing on me. Why did I need to go up there for that? I could have just walked along the grounds, I guess. Or was I supposed to jump up there somehow? Oh, I got two note things. Oh, I have to go back. Okay. What did I miss out on? Oh, there was a dot notes up there. I just didn't have what I needed to get to it yet. I don't know why I'm calling it dot notes. I got nothing better to call it, so. Unless the game tells me otherwise, that's what I'm calling those things. Well, can I get in there? I can get in there. Whew. Except that turbine ain't blowing, so it did not give me the clue where I was looking for it. All right, now let's go walk the musical tightrope. Yeah. Of course, if the wind blows up here, I could be in trouble, so I need to get hustling. Oh God, it's coming in. Can I beat it? Can I beat it? There's no like downshift run. Oh, just barely. Oh, look at the design of this creepy place. Oh my God. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, of all the games out there, this is definitely one you want the soundtrack and the art book. Because, wow. Do I need to be all the way up here for something? I apparently do. Well, that was nice of this place to walk me all the way to where I need to be. I'm just gonna wait for that wind to die. Okay. What now? Guess it's time to fall down and go boom. Big bada boom. Oh, wait, there's a note thing down here. Can I cut through there to get to it? Or was I supposed to fall down through that up there? I bet you I'm supposed to fall through that. Just notice it was crumbly and I overshot it. Oh, did it need me to like fall fall like from way up there? Cause we got a problem. Huh. Well that ain't good. Cause there's certainly no way to get all the way back up there. Should not have jumped. Shoot. 
I mean, it kind of looks like that's working, but oh, maybe I just need to keep at it because we're definitely getting some crumblies down there. Uh, maybe it's just one of those things I end up coming back to, I guess. I hope. I hope I didn't just totally screw myself in this game because of that one little moment. That would be, probably that would be poor game design. Oh no! Come on, dig in, dig deep. Yeah, I know. Oh, good, it's floating me into it. Cause I was like, I can't get to the thing. Did I just unlock another color? Oh, no, a technique. Ah, why? Hold Y to be heavy. Well, now we know how to go get the thing. Cool. Run, Forrest, run. What? Run, Forgress, run. The Forgress. I'm clever. That's why y'all pay me the big bucks. Wait, y'all pay me? <laughs> With your watch time, you do. Hmm, that's still not doing the trick though. Ah! Cool! Now I know what I'm doing. So let us progress. Or is it progress? <laughs> I feel bad making comedy jokes over this like chill freaking thing here. So melancholy. Okay, Wind, I get it. It's enough, you're gonna mess up my hair. I right, got two dots following. No, we're closing up. I was trying to heavy. I was like, if I just hold down heavy, maybe the wind can't blow me. That is the trick. That's how I'm gonna have to progress through these frequent windstorms for a minute. All right, that's cool. That's a fun mechanic. It gives a little puzzle ability. Maybe. Oh, I can walk while I'm heavy, very slowly. Just gotta hold down that Y button. So is this what they mean when they talk about buns of steel? Ha 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 ha. All right, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, there's a goddess statue thing. Oh, the music just got real, yo. Oh, wow. They're all so sad. Don't be so sad. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I'm so sorry. Was I supposed to do that? Because that was cool. Ring all them bells. I can ring your bell. Ring your bell. Not sure I want to do that just yet. Let's see what else is over here right quick. Then we'll go do that because I bet that's what I'm supposed to do actually. Yep, don't want to go that way. I don't think I can get back. Okay. We'll go down. Whee! Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Pardon me. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, did I take all the color back out of my world? That's sad. Uh-oh. Not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Ooh, cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can break all these things. 
Should I? Do I get more stuff? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Uh-oh. I get enough or too much? The fuck? Are you saying I was never supposed to go down there? Or are you gonna put me somewhere new? Oh, you're putting me somewhere new. I did the right thing. Okay. That was pretty cool. And why are you point me in that direction? Doesn't feel like this is the way to progress. All right, let's go for a ride. Whee! Kickflip. Hey. Stupid, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a little difficult to tell when you can and can't get onto something. Okay. Nice. I'm smart. I know what I'm doing. Not really. I'm enjoying figuring it out. Don't you do it. Okay, good, we still have red. Still got red on us. She's so sad. It looks like a thing, it's a save point. I guess it was just a save point. Oh, hello, Spider-Man. Why can't I crush you? Like a spider fan. I guess you're just supposed to use him to jump. Oh, there's a bunch of things up here. Oh, I need to heavy that, don't I? Or do I need to go over here first? Nope, guess I need to heavy that first. Nice. Uh-oh, we started the clock. I only have two. I need a lot more of those things. Oh, I can get up on that, okay. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. All right. Well, I was doing the right direction. I just... Hmm. I see. I need that thing to... Shit. I need that thing to shit. All right, hang on. We got this. Get on it. Get up on it. Nope, fuck. I forgot. My bad. Nope, my bad. All right, wait for it to go up. And now we can do the thing. There we go. Looks like I want to wait for that to do that. Okay. Cool, we're back on track. Wee! I'm not weeing. Why am I not weeing all the way home? Okay. I see what you're planning here. How do I go down? Okay. Do I want to go down? Ah, looks like it. Huh. But that's where I came from, man. Oh, I see a dot up there, so I need to get up there. Okay, so I need to get up there, all right. Oh, oh, I 
see, I did some wrong things over here. Maybe. No, I'm not gonna be able to get up there. Huh. Oh, what am I doing? Hold on. I think I can actually get myself up here further. I just hadn't tried to get up. Oh, nope. Can't get on those side grinds. Huh. Huh. What am I missing? That my camera's probably blocking for me. There's gotta be a reason I can go down. What am I? I can just let you go down for no reason, right? I mean, obviously, I'm trying to get up to that top level so I can get up to that rock. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure this out for y'all in this video. I don't want to take all day. I do. I was going to go play some Kakarot. That doesn't do anything. Sure, what I'm missing. Let me go back a little bit. Be like, what's down there? Do I need to go down there? Maybe I need to go down there. Oh, no, I was already down there. That's where I came from. What am I thinking? I need that one more dot to go across that way. Okay. So, no, I'm going the right place. tried heavying over here to make this more launchable, right? Is that it? Well, maybe. Does it stay that way? Ah. That felt good. Figuring that out felt pretty damn good. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Oh, no, I missed it. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I figure there's a reason for everything. Come on. Come on, baby. Should I uh, heavy again? That's... Mm, maybe. Can I now get on top of that rock? No! Shit. just missing the jump? Is that what it is? Might be that. Yeah, I just didn't get the jump before. All right, cool. Now we have another thing. We gotta go back in here to use it. I should pro- oh man, I've been playing a little while. I should probably wrap this up, actually. <laughs> Yep, sounds like Mary might be about ready to play some Kakarot. No, I missed it. Missed it. I missed it real good. Now I gotta wait all damn day. Okay. 
There we go. That's how you play a video game. I'm sure y'all didn't know that, right? This is gonna be a long one. Okay. It doesn't really have like stopping points either, so that's why I'm gonna keep just getting kind of roped into playing it. <laughs> Uh oh, more than things. Oh look, there's a thing to destroy. Nope, didn't need more, okay. Oh, can I not go any further? Or is it a matter of now that I've opened this, it'll call the things? Oh, I guess I could go further. Yeah, because I can get over here. Okay. And then we go over here, to here, we run up to here, we do that. And we can go on the wee wee wee. supposed to be doing those. I don't know why. Wait, no, this is, okay, I, I was like, wait, I was already been here. Oh, boy. Okay. No, I see it. I see how this is going to work. Okay, I don't have enough to do it, so I need to get going over here. Oh, no! Okay. Shit. <laughs> Did that poorly. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, hold on, I got the hang of this. One more click. No, why do I want to do that? I want to do it there and then there. And then we can get over here. All right. And now we're out here. Yeah, this is just going to go on and on and on. I mean, in a good way. I'm enjoying the hell out of this game, but I really do probably need to wrap this uh, Let's Play up. Although here's a thing that looks like something to do. So let's see what happens. Nothing happens. I don't want to go there, I don't think. Is that a dot over there? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I need to go higher up, okay. But how do I get under these things? Huh. Wait, can I jump onto the lines of this? No. All right, well anyways, I tell you what, this is freaking awesome. I love this, this game is great, it is beautiful, the music's fantastic, but we're gonna get back to that unboxing because y'all need to see this art book and such and the final, so enjoy the rest of the unboxing. All right, so hopefully that was as fun as I was thinking it was. Hopefully it was gorgeous. Hopefully I didn't say anything too stupid. I will probably said something very stupid, but that's how I roll. So let's actually open up this art book. We'll take a look at some random pages in here and then we'll check out the, sound, the vinyl soundtrack and see what that's gonna look like. And then if I really like the game, maybe I'll rock out the soundtrack later tonight. Because I haven't listened to vinyl in a few days, maybe like a week. I've been busy. It's been, uh, as of me filming this, has been uh, the push for Oscar season to finish up all the Oscar movies before our Oscar live stream, which was great. Yeah, you kind of have a, um, like, a, it's a very textured. It's not real cardboardy. It's like a kind of almost a cloth, like a hard cloth kind of texture going on in the front. And of course, you get that nice little look there. You get some text on the back there. Little circle thing there. Does say limited edition on the art book. That's pretty great. I will do what I can here to show you some of this. But at the same time, we're not gonna go through like 200 pages of stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you wanted it, you should have got it. Oh yeah, we got real early. Oh, this is great because it's like game layout. So there might be some spoilery stuff in here too if you look too deep. 
But this is a fantastic, okay, this book's gonna be really interesting. Now we're in the pre-production section. Oh, not, okay, broken down like character section. Is that, what is that? It looks like a special page in the middle here. Oh yeah, gorgeous full spreads there. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got a Rorschach section. No, no. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that's creepy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually a fantastic book. This is way more than I thought we were gonna get out of this, so I'm very, very happy for it. At this point, I do not at all remember what I paid for this. I'm guessing it was over 100 bucks. Maybe like 150, I'm not even sure. Sadly, that was so long ago, because if it shipped in like November, I probably ordered this back in like August or something of last year. Because, <laughs> you know, turnaround time does take a while. So now we got some screenshots. We're in the screenshot section. Now we're in some concept art section here. Some more concept art. Nice. Assets. And ending. So we're not gonna look at that, but yeah, that is a fantastic book. I'm gonna have a real good time taking a crack looking through there. But now, let's check out this other awesomeness we got. Now, of course, this came separately, came at a different time um, from, you know, I Am 8-Bit. So, if you don't know them, they do some cool stuff too. I think they have a couple of exclusive games that I've ordered that'll be here eventually as well. I'm a little concerned that that is corner bent. Oh. Oh, that is unfortunate. Um, we'll look at that in just a second. I mean, they do what they can, but the mail still screws things. We get an I Am 8-Bit sticker. And then that, you don't need to see that, it's just my address. But it's been smushed. Look at my spine. That sucks. Cause this is definitely the limited edition one, man. Man, what a bummer. Oh well, well anyways, here's the back with the plastic on. Here's the front with the plastic on. Original soundtrack, music by Berlinist. All right, well let's check it out. Cause I don't even remember what the exclusive vinyl colors in here were. Let's see if we can get in here carefully. Again, ordered it same day when I ordered the game, so it has been a while ago, and I've forgotten pretty much everything, which makes it more of a surprise for me. So again, in case you wanna see it without the reflective plastic, because it's more of a matte going on here. I think this might be like a triple gate fold, so actually this fold might not be that bad, but there's definitely a crease going across there, and that bums me out. So of course we got some more in here, so it looks like just a two, uh, two vinyl, two LP disc, but it does gate fold out quite a bit, so I'll show you that. And then we'll come over here, and we'll gatefold out this way. So that's pretty cool. That's gonna look really nice to look at while you're just zoning out, checking out the vinyls, listening to the tunes. All right, and what do we have color-wise? Hmm, black. Weren't these supposed to be color? Maybe they weren't supposed to be color, and I know that's probably driving some vinyl people crazy how I handle my records. I'm still working on it. Still working on getting better about that. Ugh. Hmm. So are they not colorful vinyl? Was it the gatefold that just made these exclusive? Yeah, because that's just black as well. Well, that's unusual. I remember there being something weird about this, like the standard version had color vinyl and this collector's edition didn't or something. Maybe they eight pay the uh, four, four, four fold gate fold, whatever number it is, four or eight, I can't remember. That might have something to do with it. But um, still, I'm excited to have it because I do hear the music and everything in this is rather fantastic. So I'm, I'm very excited to get in here and check this out and see what we think about it. Let's try to build up this uh, thumbnail here. <laughs> and come on, come on, get over here for me. Thank you. And uh, there you go, I guess. So that is my Gris unboxing and let's play. Let me know what you think about it. Do you think this was overkill? Do you think this is underkill? Do you think those vinyls should have been colorful? Um, anything you wanna tell me, just let me hear it. I love to hear your thoughts and I read all the comments and I have a good time doing it. If you want more video game let's plays and stuff, you can check out my Patreon. I've been playing a lot of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot over there and uh, it's very, very cheap. Some of the stuff over there is free. You can find that by looking up the Eric Butts using links in the description below. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button, give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And now I'm gonna get out of here so I can go play some more games and open up some more stuff, and I'll see you all later.